I have the printout of the configuration settings for my BIOS. That's going to be handy. Or you could just pull it up on your phone or any other device other than the computer you're currently on. Next thing I'm going to do is go and restart the computer. Okay, when you get to the BIOS settings, press delete a few times. Now, if you use an Apple trackpad, it's obviously not going to work in your BIOS, so just set that aside and switch to a mouse. Okay, as you can see, I'm configured for Hackintosh. If you go to advanced mode, I have all my settings configured properly. However, I'm going to load optimized defaults. Click yes. And I'm going to click save settings and reset. It's going to reset everything back to the default settings. These are all the things that are currently being changed back from what I've configured to the default. Press delete a few times. Let's go to advanced mode. Go to advanced. So it says fast boot should be disabled. So let's disable that. It says secure boot should be disabled. So go to secure boot. OS type should be Windows. However, for key management, if you have keys in here, you're going to have to uninstall them by deleting them. So you want to delete all your secure boot keys. Go back. If you have any option for serial port or parallel port, disable those. Go to advanced. Go to system agent configuration. Notice that VTD is disabled, as it should. Graphics configuration. If you're using Big Sur or Prior and you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you could leave it as primary display auto. If you are using Monterey and you have an iGPU that is supported, but your NVIDIA card is no longer supported, switch this to iGPU. And if you go to multi-monitor, click enabled. I'm going to set this back to auto since I'm using Big Sur. Go to USB configuration. For EHCI handoff, set that to enabled. SATA mode, make sure you're on AHCI. Go to Boot Compatibility Support Module, CSM, and make sure that's disabled. For onboard devices configuration, I'm using a FENV T919 card for Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. And I'm going to disable the unsupported Wi-Fi controller on the motherboard. I'm also going to disable the Bluetooth controller so there's no conflict. Exiting back to the easy mode, I'm going to set this to normal. You can either set this to power saving, normal, or optimal, depending on the performance. If you do optimal, you got to make sure you have good cooling in your computer or it might overheat. So I think this looks about right. I'm going to exit, save changes and reset, and you can see all the changes I've changed. Hit yes. Go to boot menu and now you have much fewer choices. Only UEFI choices are available. Select the disk that you want to boot from. I'm going to choose my Big Sur disk. Go to the boot option you want to choose and click enter. There, now we're back into Big Sur. Everything works fine. It looks like Wi-Fi is enabled and Bluetooth is enabled. If you're doing your first time install, what you want to do is go to boot menu and choose your USB drive and not a disk because you don't have the operating system installed yet. So I'm going to choose my USB drive. If the installer was made from Mac OS, you'll have an install Mac OS Monterey or install Mac OS Big Sur or whatever you chose option. If you made this with the Rufus method, you'll have to click the space bar and then you'll get the option to install or go to the recovery for the installer that you chose. If you're using iGPU and not dedicated GPU, make sure your HDMI cables are plugged into the appropriate slots on your motherboard. Guys, I hope this clarified a few things on your BIOS setup. If you have any questions, leave in the comments below and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more audio and technology content.